in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. The Bible says, Behold that which I have seen. It is good and comely for one to eat and to drink, and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God giveth him. For it is his portion. 19. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Shout this prayer upon loud and clear. Father, give me long life to enjoy the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus, Father, give me long life to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Give me long life to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Give me long life to enjoy the fruit of my labor to satisfaction and with peace of mind. In Jesus' name, you are given. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You're watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you don't subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are looking on the topic, seven dreams that show you will eat the fruit of your labor. Seven dreams that show you will eat the fruit of your labor. The reasons why we came here on earth is not to eat food alone, but to fulfill destiny. The reason why God allow us to experience this world is for us to make impact in this generation. The reason why God gave that man dominion over plant, over animals, is for us to fulfill our destiny. It's for God to bless man on earth. Are you eating the fruit of your labor? Are you harvesting from your strength? Are you working but other people are benefiting or reaping from your struggle? Have you been in an organization for years? Other people have been promoted, have been favored, are progressing, but you are yet to be promoted despite your qualifications, despite your experiences, despite your skills, despite your connections, despite your powers. You are still stagnated in life. This is not ordinary. Look at what the Bible says in that Ecclesiastes. The Bible says, it is good and comely for one to eat and drink. It is normal. And the Bible says, and to enjoy the fruit of all your labor. You have worked hard. You have struggled hard. You have done all kinds of things for you to live well, for you to live a good life. But yet, nothing or little are you getting from your effort. This is laboring in vain. In the Bible, Peter was in the boat. They were trying to catch fish. All night long, they were toiling. They were trying to look for fish. They could not get the fish. They were laboring in vain. Why? Because Jesus Christ was not in their midst. Why? Because Jesus Christ was not in the boat. Why? Because Jesus Christ has not intervened in his life. Because they thought by their strength they shall prevail. They thought by their grace and their, their experiences and their skills in catching fish, they will catch a lot of fishes. But God have to prove them wrong that your skills is not enough. But the faith of God, when God intervenes in your life, you will eat the fruit of your labor. When God intervenes in your life, the season of lack, the season of poverty, the season of penury will be terminated in your life. You are created in this world to fulfill destiny. You are not a spectator in this life. Look at the trees. They are producing fruit in their season. That is fruit of the labor. Look at a woman pregnant and give a birth. That is eating in front of the labor. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you are working or you are in a marriage and you feel that your effort is not amounted to goodness or success in your life, it is laboring in vain. Laboring in vain. And this spirit can come from your foundation as a result of cause, as a result of evil covenant. Praise the name of the Lord. So God has designed our life. In fact, God has designed our life to profit for our efforts. He made the plants. He made the fishes, the animals, to be a blessing to man. God has given us the power to possess all those things. God has given us the strength to walk. But when you are walking, 
There's no grace to eat the fruit of your labor. You have not turned to a slave. This is laboring in vain. There's no evidence of your working. There's no evidence that you are doing something. A man will leave his house around 3 o'clock a.m. or 4 o'clock a.m. going to work. But at the end of his effort and struggle, nothing good will be earned from his effort. This is laboring in vain. You are a graduate and yet you are jobless. You are struggling in the areas of job. And perhaps you are doing a business. You are getting little or no profit from that business. This is not God's agenda for your life. So there are some dreams that indicate success on your part. There are some dreams that says your expectation will not be cut short. There are some dreams that God has allowed that once this dream comes, the time for you to reap everything has come. You have planted. Long time ago, you have planted so many things. But for you to reap all those things, you are here to get it. You have helped so many people. You have helped them. You have helped so many people in a time of your wealth, in a time of your riches. But by the time you are not struggling financially, those people you help, most of them are turning back against you. Do not give up. Your good deed will help you in the end. So God has said that you are going to eat. God has said it's time for you to get your own portion and rejoice. He has given you wealth. He has given you riches. Receive them in Jesus' name. It is one thing to labor and to toil. Be in one place without achieving anything. It is another thing for one to enjoy the fruit of his labor provided by God for that person. When you find yourself working hard without benefit, you are laboring in vain. When you are giving your boss some strategies, some tactics, on how to move the organization forward and that same boss is not favoring you you are laboring in vain when you find yourself in a wrong environment and you are trying to achieve something and that is not working out you are laboring in vain adam and eve labored in vain it is only the grace of god that can make a man to be fruitful to be wealthy to have large portions in life. When the grace of God is not there, a person will be liable to be struggling in life. I pray, I cancel the spirit of hardship in your life in Jesus' name. It is God who prospers a man. Some person dies at the end of their breakthrough, while some parents lost their children at the point of reaping from the fruit of their children's labor. Some parent dies without seeing their own grandchildren. That is labor in vain. I pray, may you not labor in vain in Jesus' name. So, quickly, we are going to tell you the seven dreams that show that you are going to eat the fruit of your labor. Number one, eating ripe fruit in the dream. Ripe. Something that is ripe, it means it has reached to its maturity stage. Something that is ripe, it means it has reached to its final stage. When you are eating fruit in the dream, it is a sign from heaven that you are going to eat the fruit of your labor. You are going to harvest miracles. You are going to harvest favor. You are going to harvest breakthrough. In fact, God will fill your life in such a way that you'll be satisfied. Because when we eat fruit, we are eating that fruit to make us healthy. And sometimes to feel satisfied and feel content. So when you are eating fruit in the dream, it shows that God is making provision, divine provision for you. What are those things you are believing God for? So those things you are believing God for, all of them, they are not turning into fruit in your dream. So which means achievement and success is coming on your way in Jesus' name. Number two dreams that show that you are going to eat the fruit of your labor is catching fish in a dream. All kinds of fish, different kinds of fish. You are catching fish in the dream. You are going to eat the fruit of your labor. Fish in the realm of the spirit represent luck. Fish in the realm of the spirit represent wealth, riches, Fish in the realm of the spirit represent abundance, your goals, your ambitions, your desires. But when you are casting them, it is a sign from heaven that don't give up, my son. Don't give up, my daughter. Surely, though, though it may tarry, but your expectations shall come to pass. Don't give up. That is what that dream is telling you. 
you are going to eat the fruit of your labor. Keep on working hard. Keep on doing the things that you love most. And one day, one day, the blessings of the Lord will rest upon your life. So when you are catching fish in the dream, it's an indication that you are going to profit from your effort in life. It's an indication that you are going to prosper. And may that prosperity come upon you in Jesus' name. Just like the story of Peter, I was sharing, they caught many fishes in the dream. Sorry, they caught many fishes in the Bible days. And God blessed them. And Simon Peter said, I will let down the net. I will become a fisher of men. So, catching fish in the dream is a sign that you are going to reap the fruit of your labor. It's a sign of favor coming to you. Number three, aversing crops in the dream. Aversing crops. Yam. Maize. Aversing crops. Cocoa yam. In the dream, you are gathering those crops. You are selecting those crops. Gathering them. Aversing them. It's a sign of new beginning. It's a sign that you are collecting the dividends of your hard work. Have you been investing on so many things? Investing in a church project? Investing in your business? Investing on the life of your children? You are investing on a long-term project, but you are here to, to get the dividends of your investment. So when you are investing crops in the dream, you are getting to that point of restoration. You are getting to that point of wealth. You are getting to that point of success in your life. Gathering them is a sign of blessings. Number four, someone gift you with something in a dream. Someone gave you something, valuable something. A potter something in a dream, maybe like money, maybe like gold, maybe like silver. Maybe like something that's worth exciting. It means that you are going to eat the fruit of your labor. No matter the job you are doing and you are seeing any of these dreams, it shows that success will smile on you very soon. Do not give up. Whatsoever is that thing you are expecting God, whatsoever is that thing you are expecting from God, this dream tells you that very soon you are going to receive them in abundance in Jesus' name. Number five, see rainbow in the dream. Rainbow of different colors, different colors. Each of those colors has their own signification. White, yellow, pink, and other things like that. But when you are seeing those things, it's a sign of God's covenant. It's a sign of God's promises have been established in your life. And it's also a time of recovering all. It's a time of comfort. It's a time of harvest. It's a time of growth. It's a time of peace. It's a time of recovering all. A sign of rainbow. It's a sign that God is taking you to somewhere that is more profitable. The rainbow in your dream is a sign that you are doing the right thing. Keep on doing the right thing. Very soon, you shall reap the blessings of God hidden in that thing you are doing. In Jesus' name. Number six, drinking from a running tap or rock in the dream. Drinking from a running tap or rock in the dream. Yes. This is an indication of success as well. It's an indication of favor. It's an indication of blessings. You are receiving something from God. New beginning. Refreshment, peace, comfort, and that water that is coming is something that will cleanse your heart, cleanse your spirit, purify you, and heal you in that situation. That water can also signify faith and hope, satisfaction. Those are the agenda of God for your life. Do not give up. Very soon, you will eat the fruit of your labor and you will profit from that struggle today in Jesus' name. Number seven, lastly, Plucking different types of fruit on a tree in a dream. Plucking different types of fruit from a tree in a dream. Different types of fruit like mango, like apple, like oranges. Many types of fruit in a dream. You are plucking them. It's a sign of abundance. It's a sign of favor, prosperity and success. It's a sign of wealth. Eating the fruit of your labor. It's a sign of children. Financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, all kinds of things, good things. To sign of prayer answered. And may the Lord Almighty answer your prayers in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Sharp prayer number one loud and clear. Say, I shall eat the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus, I shall eat the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus, I shall eat the fruit of my labor. I shall eat the fruit of my labor. I shall eat the fruit of my labor. In Jesus' name. Two, say, O oh Lord, Convert all my losses to gains. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, 
Convert all my losses to gains. Convert all my losses to gains. Convert all my losses, all my losses to gains. Convert all my losses to gain. Convert all my losses to gain. In Jesus' name. Three, lastly, say, I shall recover all. I shall recover all. Declare many times. Say, I shall recover all. Mention your name. Joshua Orekre shall recover her. I 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 shall recover her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This evangelist Joshua Orekre. God bless you.